Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. All right, today I wanna to talk about external hard drives. If you watched my video that I posted last night on my new MacBook Air M1, you know that I'm pretty stoked about how amazing it is. I intentionally filmed in 4K at the highest megabit that I can get off of this Sony A7C. So I'll never be filming in anything bigger, beefier, whatever than that. And the M1 flawlessly flew through it. No problems whatsoever. Absolutely no hiccuping, no stuttering. I was able to scrub back and forth, drop things in, zoom in on the footage. There's nothing that it couldn't do that I don't do. And it did it way the hell faster than even my iMac. My iMac's several years old now, and it's still a workhorse, but now I know that I can do stuff with the MacBook Air, especially on the road, because, you know, how many times have I bitched and complained saying, I don't have the ability to really feasibly and efficiently do anything from the road, so that's why I stopped doing daily posting. Now, I'm not saying I'm going back to daily posting. I'm still incredibly busy, especially in this last quarter of the year, but I can. I'm going to be able to do that for a couple of reasons. One, that MacBook Air M1 is freaking amazing. I already know that I will be able to blow through any kind of editing that I need to do with no problems. Number two, because of what I use to put the footage on and I take the footage off and so on and so forth, now I also know that that's not a problem either. And what I'm using is this, this Acasis USB hub, and it has the ability to read SD cards, micro SD cards. It's got a, another USB right there and two USB threes right there. It also here has a full size HDMI and ethernet capabilities. And then on this side, you've got the USB-C uh, 100 watt PD and just another type C. Basically you would be plugging one of these into the port on the M1 and you're good to go. So what I did last night when I pulled the footage off is that I took the SD and I put it into the Acasis. And I also had a couple of things on here like my intro and my subscribe button that were on this Lassie hard drive. And I was able to take everything off of every device, get it into Final Cut Pro and edit, render, and upload the video in like record time for me. One of the reasons I stopped shooting in 4K was because of the fact that, well, one, the files are huge. That isn't as daunting because, I mean, with the A7R4, the files that I get from that with all the pictures that I take when I'm going out, you know, and doing wildlife birding, I've just never been daunted by that. I have so many hard drives hooked up to my iMac that it's ridiculous. I'm also starting to learn that I don't need to keep everything. I mean, pretty much all the dumb shit that I film, <laughs> I keep, I have, I have years worth of files on all of those hard drives, plus another drawer full of externals that have filled up over the years. Every year I buy another, like I buy another external hard drive and start transferring stuff and using whatever I can because I'm, I'm using up so much hard drive space. I'm starting to find that I don't need to do that because once I get the footage and I create the video, it's not like I ever look at it again. So I think I might start ditching that in this coming year as I learn how to get a better flow going. That all being said, that's why I got this Acasis drive because now I'm gonna show you. This has the, a little silicone rubber surround on it just so that's a little bit, I don't know, a little bit shock absorbing and it's just got something on it. But this is all aluminum and it's got a couple of little pads down here on the bottom if you're gonna set it down that way. But most importantly, what this has that's a little bit different from any of the other hubs that I had found. So it's got a one terabyte chip in there and you can go up to eight terabytes if you wanted to invest those thousands of dollars in it. The nice thing about this, and then once you get this little strip on here, is that it then sends the heat off the chip onto this aluminum enclosure. I can tell you for sure, when I was doing what I was doing last night, it, it, was, it was fairly warm. So that means that it's doing its job of taking the heat away from the chip and allowing you to not like screw with the transfer speeds and all that kind of stuff because it's keeping the chip cooler by sending the heat out. Hell yeah. I also have this Samsung T5 SSD and I got this a while ago. I think this is only a 500 megabyte or gigabyte version only. Uh -huh. These days, that's nothing. It's older technology. I have like a ton of movies and 
anime, cartoons, shit like that. So when I'm on the road and stuff, I can just plug that in to a device and, and I can watch some of my favorite movies and cartoons and all that kind of stuff. And then I only reason I got this LaC drive was because it came as part of a package when I bought my Sigma 24 to 70. It came in a package with a lens, this hard drive, and a, you know, a bunch of other useless shit that's probably sitting in a, in a box in a closet. But it did come with it some one terabyte drive. I mean, everybody was talking about these, everybody's using them and all that kind of stuff. And it's not that they're bad, but it actually is a hard drive, not a solid state drive. And I didn't realize that until I heard, I plugged it in and heard it whirring up and, and was like, oh, I thought it was an SSD, but it isn't. Two things that I'm going to be doing going forward. One, I'm gonna go get a case for my MacBook Air. I'm going to the Apple store because I looked through 10,000 freaking things on Amazon. And you know, like for every one that I was like, oh, okay, I like that one. Somewhere down in the comments, like it doesn't fit right. They say that it's for the, for the M1, but it doesn't fit right. So I'm not dealing with that shit. I'm just gonna go to the Apple store. I'm gonna buy a freaking case for it. Normally I wouldn't buy a case for my laptop, but I know how much of a beating my laptops take because I take them with me every week when I go on the road. I've been taking my iPad with me, but at this point, I'm, hell, I'm gonna be taking this MacBook Air because I know that I can edit on it and I can do anything I want. And it's fast, <laughs> and it's very light. So I'm just gonna throw a case on there, but when I go there, I'm also gonna beeline to Best Buy, and I think I might end up getting a T7 version of this Samsung drive. I guess it's supposed to be like twice the speed of this. I guess in order, this is probably fast, I don't really know how fast this is. I only took off my intro and the subscribe button. So I don't know what I'm gonna use this for. Maybe just to, you know, to throw shit on. But this thing is gonna be the fastest because it's got that internal SSD chip in it. After researching that as well, I'm not gonna invest a ton into these T7s. I'm gonna get one of them so that I have something that's a little bit quicker and see how that goes. But I actually think after using this thing that I'm going to build my own external portable SSD. It's probably a little bit bigger than this, but a little bit smaller than that, and it's Thunderbolt. This thing would be awesome if it were Thunderbolt, but it isn't, it's USB-C. Not gonna get the kind of speeds I would get if this were Thunderbolt. Now that's not to say that this isn't gonna be fast anyways, but the freaking MacBook Air has Thunderbolt ports on it. I may as well take advantage of them. So if I can get everything into that one Thunderbolt for when I'm editing and all that kind of stuff, it's just gonna be that much faster to do everything. Speed is golden, so I'm gonna do it. All that being said, even if I just used this stuff right here, and well, let's just take that out of the equation, because I wouldn't be using that, uh, you know, unless I was just gonna be watching movies or whatever. If I were gonna be using these two things, out of the two of them, why would I use the hard drive when I have an internal SSD that's just that much quicker? So we can eliminate that too, and that leaves me with this Acasis hub for now until I build my external Thunderbolt SSD drive, external drive. But for now, this thing is wicked because I can, again, I can do everything. So I can pull my footage off the camera and stick it right there, the SD card will go right there. And again, I did that yesterday and it, it took it right off. And then I can also plug any device into here if I need to, you know, if I, if I don't want Thunderbolt speed. And I go from there. But for now, this thing right here is pretty cool. Now I've had uh, regular comments when I originally showed a video about this Acasis drive. And I've had some people say that they ordered theirs like way back in September and they still haven't gotten it yet. And they're not getting any communication from the company. I paid for it. I got it when they said I was gonna get it. I bought the Sabrent SSD chip from b &H Photo. I got that very quick. I put it all together. I plug it in, it works. What more can I say? I'm sorry that you're having problems getting whatever it is that you're buying. I haven't had that problem, so lucky me. That's all I wanted to talk about today. I just wanted to talk about these different drives and what you can do and how that's gonna help me just go forward and up by improving my speed. All that stuff comes together to make editing. Well, it was actually fun to edit last night. I was like so excited that it was so easy to edit. Not only that, but instead of being tied up here in my office, sitting at my iMac, I can just grab my freaking MacBook Air now and go sit down on the couch with my wife while we're watching cartoons and I can edit just choding on the couch. And I'm all for that. And, you know, again, I can also edit on the road. So when I'm laying on the, on the hotel bed after driving around like an idiot all day, I can just edit the video that day and bring you more fun content. All right, that's it. That's all I've got for you. If you have any comments, suggestions, questions, whatever, leave them down below. 
As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.